Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to share with you a day to night look inspired by Mila Kunis. In one of my last videos, I asked you guys what celebrity look you'd like to see me recreate and so many of you said Mila Kunis and I am such a big fan of hers. She's so talented and beautiful and I absolutely wanted to do that for you. So I actually recently happened to receive this mega booklet of 80 eyeshadows from Sephora. Look, doesn't that just totally give you a heart attack? So I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do a couple of looks inspired by Mila Kunis using the shadows in this palette. And don't worry, all of these shadows you can buy individually. So when I use them, I'll like tell you what shadow colors they are and everything. In case you want to recreate the exact look, it'll be easy for you guys. If you want to see these looks, then go ahead and keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. To start off, I just applied Urban Decay's Naked Skin Foundation in shade 4 all over my face and then I used Makeup Forever's Full Cover Concealer in Smart Smooth Operator Powder and I'm just taking this powder brush and I'm going to set my foundation. For the eyes, I'm going to start out by using a primer. I'm just applying Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over my lids on the upper and lower lash line. I'm taking this shimmery shadow called Movie Popcorn. Apply this shade just to the center of the lid and blend out toward the edges. This lighter shadow should catch the light and just brighten up the whole face. Next, I'm taking this shimmer peach shadow called Indian Summer and angling my brush toward my eye like this, I'm just going to apply this to the outer crease area. Concentrate most of the color right here and then bring the shadow in so it hugs that lighter golden color. Next I'm taking this matte creamy shade called Lazy Afternoon. I'm going to apply this right beneath the brow bone as a very natural highlight shade. Now going back in with the peachy color from earlier, I'm going to just apply this down, bring it all the way across, and I'm going to take the champagne color and apply that just to my inner corners and right in that inner tear duct area. It's going to add a little bit extra brightness to this really easygoing daytime look. Now I'm going to take a black pencil eyeliner and grab a little bit of that. And this is really going to work well with the gel textured pencil liners like the Urban Decay one. I'm just going to apply this to my lash line. Kind of like applying any other gel eyeliner. But this is going to give a more smudgy, smoked out effect. I don't want to make any lines too harsh since it is a daytime look. So we're going to just try to get a softer kind of line. Using the same eyeliner, I'm just going to apply this to my lower lash line and a little bit onto my waterline as well. I'm going to also bring that all the way to the inside of the lashes. And then just to soften up that line, I'm taking a bit of that shadow from earlier and I'm going to blend out the edges. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes, and I'm going to apply my Urban Decay Cannonball Mascara to my lashes. Next, I'm going to add a bit of eyebrow color. Mila always has really dramatic eyebrows, so I'm going to fill them in a little bit darker this time. Strong eyebrows are really going to nicely frame the whole eye. So just use little strokes to emulate the drawing in of little hairs. Now I'm just taking this natural pinky peach blush, this is Benefits Coralista, and I'm going to apply this to my cheeks, starting at the outer corners here. Just going to bring this forward, just to give a really natural flush to the cheeks. We're going to finish off our daytime look by applying a very natural lip color. This is Clinique's Chubby Stick and Curviest Caramel. All right, so this is my final daytime look and I think it's really easy to kind of wear and pop on your face and just kind of dash out the door. But now we have to modify it to be able to go out in the evening with some of our friends and just kind of like give it a little bit of smoke and edge. So to do that, we're going to take a few more colors and add it to this and get ready for going out at night. To start giving some edge to this look, I'm going to start off with this eyeshadow in a shimmer finish called Rock the Runway. If we look at where the shadow we placed earlier was, it's kind of already giving us a guideline of where we should add the newer shadow. So I'm going to start off right here on the center of the lid and start rocking back and forth in a half moon shape. 
Don't go too far in because we still want to keep some of this frosty color on the inner corner. We just want to blend this purple up to where the shimmery color was earlier. So right where that arch is. We can still take the orangey shadow from before and use that as a blending color to kind of blend that into the edges of the arch. Now I'm taking this blackened shimmer shade called My Little Black Dress and I'm just taking this small pencil brush and applying this to the outer corner near the base. We're really going to pump up the intensity and winging that out. This should create a gradient-like smoky eye effect where it's darker at the outer corner and also the closer you get to the lash line. I'm going to take a little more of that black shade and really work on smoking out the lower lash line. Normally I would use a lighter color, but Mila's red carpet smoky eye is extremely black and smoky, so I want to get this really, really dark. This is going to go almost all the way to the inner corners. The next step I'm going to do is use pencil eyeliner and I am really, really going to line the waterline as black as possible and I'm going to use that completely on the inner rim. On the inner corners, just roll the pencil so that it gets right where you need it. To make it even more intensely black, I'm taking a bit of my powder shadow and I'm just going to pat this on top of the eyeliner. Not too close to my inner tear duct or anything, just kind of on this outer edge. Now because I have naturally extremely short lashes, to really amp up this look for nighttime, I'm going to put on some false lashes. So now just apply these as close to your lash line as possible. Now I'm just taking the darker color from my eyebrow set and I'm going to intensify the brows. I'm just going to apply this to the inner third of my eyebrows so that it's darkest right in that beginning section. I'm taking this gorgeous sparkly color called Walking in the Sand and to give my eyes one last final touch, I'm going to use my finger on the shadow and I'm going to lightly press that into the center of the lid. And that'll just add a little bit something extra to your eyes every time you blink. To make this look a little bit more nighttime, I'm going to add a little bit of bronzer. This is from Too Faced and I am just going to add that in areas that I kind of want to contour. So right here by my jawline, underneath my cheekbones, also here by my hairline. And to finish off the look, I'm going to make my lips a little bit less pink and a little bit more nude to balance out the smoky eyes. So I'm going to take my Too Faced La Creme lipstick in Nude Beach. It's just kind of a nude color. Mixing the two lipstick colors is going to give it a little bit more of a nude effect without completely erasing the pink color from before. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed my very first day to night transformation. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up the video and leave me a comment down below if you wanna see any future celebrity inspired looks. So I guess that's about it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Now we have to move on to the eyes. Are we recording still? What the heck was that? <laughs> Say goodbye to all our company. No, it's not a going out song. E shadows in it of, oh my gosh, what's my leg doing? <laughs>